It is cold. Winter catfish time is among us. Welcome back everybody. Welcome to my channel. Today I found myself in 34 degree weather and even colder rain. So I am fishing, I'm troll fishing. That means I am fishing like a troll. I am under a bridge in my car, legit fishing. Right down to that way, my rod that I just threw out there, I only brought one rod today, but the rod that I just threw out is maybe 20 feet away from where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna keep an eye, keep looking to the left, keep looking at y'all left, whatever. <laughs> and I'm gonna see if I can't catch a fish while I'm making this video. But the content of this video is more focused on the rig specifically for targeting catfish. Now this rig is pretty much, it's just a fish finder rig, but I've had questions asking the specifics on what exactly I use to make this rig. In this video, I'm gonna go over that. I'm gonna say why, I'm gonna give you as much detail as I can, try to be a little informative. <laughs> and hopefully we're gonna to try to catch a fish here. Oh yeah, I, I ordered more paracord so that way I can show you all and demonstrate the knot that you're going to need to make this rig. And you only need one knot. One knot, you're going to tie the knot one, two, three, four, five times. Use the improved clinch knot five times to make this rig. It is strong, reliable, it gets the job done. But give me a second, let me go get that stuff. We're going to start getting this rig made. Okay, so let's start off with the tackle needed. Two barrel swivels, one snap swivel your weight, your hook, and your line. Now for demonstration purposes, when I'm tying this rig up with a paracord so y'all can see it better, this is what we're gonna use to replace these lovely fellas here. Two key, wi <laughs> two key wings, two key rings to represent the barrel swivels. That clip, whatever that's called, <laughs> is gonna represent the snap swivel. The weight is going to represent the weight. The hook is gonna be that whistle thing, blower, I don't know what it is. And the line, the line is gonna be represented by the orange paracord. So if you can't see that, I'm sorry, but you better be able to see it. If you can't see that, you shouldn't be fishing. Starting off with the one knot that you need to know, the improved clinch knot. I will keep doing this throughout the video, but just in case there's some confusion sometimes, trying to look through the GoPro and trying to tie the knot doesn't always work out too well. So I'm gonna do it right here before we start everything. We're gonna nail it nail it just say the steering wheel here say that is your lovely hook barrel swivel say that this is the eye of it just go up and through it so all it's going to be is twisting one two three four see that that's all it is this end which is eventually going to be the tag end and this will be the tag end because it has We'll say it has, this represents a tag in because it's got little fluffies on it. Take little fluffy, put it right through this hole that you just made that's closest to your hook or your barrel swivel. Just like so. Look at that, look at that. So now you have like a P shape. Wait, wait, is that a P shape? That would be a Q shape to you, wouldn't it? You see what I'm getting at? You've just made the tag end go through the bottom loop. You've just made a loop too. So you're gonna take this tag end, you're gonna bring it through here and you're gonna put it right back through the loop that you just made so see it's still stuck right here but it's gonna go through right there so pass that through just like that that's all it is and it, it's kind of hard to tighten this knot on paracord just because that's just the nature of it I don't know but you're gonna tie it all tight and then it's gonna cinch down just like that. That is tight and God, I hope I didn't just tighten it so much that I'm gonna have paracord stuck to my Hyundai steering wheel. Hyundai! We're going to take our first barrel swivel. The size of the barrel swivel is really not that big of a deal. Uh, just make sure it is not the weak, the weakest link. Meaning if you're using a hundred pound leader, probably wanna make sure your barrel swivels are at least that. Starting off with the barrel swivel, and I'm starting off with two feet 
of, I typically use 80 to 100 pound monofilament. Uh, braid is useless for this rig. But anyway, starting at the top of this rig, this is the bite leader a lot of people call it. I use it because it's a little bit more durable when fishing areas that have rocks around it. It also gives you something while bank fishing or fishing from the beach, this, the, the shore, the whatever, uh, gives you something to grab onto. So we got the barrel swivel, we have your two feet of bite leader line or whatever you want to call it. You just go through one eye of your barrel swivel, come out. So this is all we've done so far, just put it through and we're going to just start twisting the line. Half twist is how I count it off. So it's one half twist, two half twist, three half twist, four half twists. Now after I've done that, I'm gonna take this part of the line and I'm gonna put it right through this hole. So you got it like that, put it through the hole. And now you've made another loop right here. See this loop? This one right there. You're just gonna take that, push it back through that loop. Pull it, you're gonna pull it and it's all gonna come together straight just like that. That is the only knot that you need to know for this rig. You wanna pull this tag end and this to make it tight. It should all it should all have the same thickness throughout the, the knot. So you got this, two feet of line. At this end of the line, this is where you're gonna attach your snap swivel. So remember, this guy is your snap swivel. You're just gonna go ahead and put that on through. So this is now just sliding back and forth on that. If you wanna add a bead, you can add beads before or after the snap swivel. You can do both, you can do one at the bottom just to protect the knot down there. That's where it's gonna get beat up the most. So you got that done. Now you got this end. You're gonna do the same thing as you did. Barrel swivel, line, So this is what you have so far. Barrel swivel, snap swivel, barrel swivel. And obviously this is where you attach your weight. There it is. This is all it is with the weight. You're gonna take another piece of line, 80 to 100 pound test, the same as this or heavier. Never as lighter than this ever. Same thing, you're gonna take the the line, you're gonna put it through. You're gonna do the same knot, and this is for your hook. Just like that. Whew! Oh, shit! I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. Oh my gosh. He was running. I set the hook, had him on for a second, fell off. I was, uh, got another bait out there. So, <laughs> damn it. So, as of right now, the top of the rig, barrel swivel, line, snap swivel. Jesus. Wait, followed by snap swivel. Now, remember in between here and here, if you want to run a bead, that's where you want to do it. Snap swivel. Hook leader. Now hook leader, this is very, oh gosh, camera's starting to, all right, I guess we're adjusting. Hook leader, it doesn't, I mean, if the catfish are really far away, you know, they're just, they're in a pocket way out there and you, and you want the distance, then yes, make the hook leader as short as possible. When you're casting, your whole rig is essentially one little ball. So when it's all balled up together, it will go further. I mean, it's not gonna, you're not gonna see a huge difference, but it does go further. But in most cases where I'm fishing, it's not a big deal. And I like to have my bait kind of sitting in the water, being able to move around a little bit. I feel as though the catfish like that a little bit more than having a bait pinned right beside your terminal tackle, your hook, not your hook, your weight. But again, it, it's not a huge deal. I keep about maybe six inches of line from the barrel swivel to where I tie the hook. Got that rig and now we're gonna tie on the dog whistle. I honestly have no idea what this is. It came with the paracord. Um, but anyway, same thing guys. Now don't, now don't get me wrong, you can snell your hook, you can do whatever, but the purpose of this video is make it simple as possible. One knot, and I'm telling you this knot has not failed me on the hook ever. Cobia, catfish, drum, never failed me.
tighten her all down and there you go put a bait on that dog whistle you throw it out there you got yourself a catfish rig and hyundai if you're watching this hyundai yes this is in your car so i should totally get at least a free windshield but yeah that is that is the rig i'll show you what the real rig looks like i mean i just wanted to do it on the paracord so you could see it better when you pick your weight you want your weight to match the water now you don't want it rolling down say you're fishing the river you don't want it rolling down the river getting stuck under a rock making it unfishable making it to where the fish can't get it making it to where your rig is now stuck and you've lost a rig if you're fishing like a lake and there's no moving water then yeah go for it fish a very light weight and it's not going to go anywhere now as far as the hook size again that is is completely up to you generally when i'm trying to i mean what it seems like it seems like 15 pounds or bigger i mean have no problem putting the a 10-0 hook in their mouth but I mean again it's up to you if you want to use a circle or a J again that's up to you personally I like the J hook still when fishing for catfish just because I like to set the hook pull see if they pull back but there's no no right or wrong as far as hook size it's just make sure it matches the fish that you're targeting straight raining at bunions off out here So, we've got the rod tip coming down, shock leader to the barrel swivel. Coming down, coming down. Got the snap swivel with the weight on it. I did run a bead this time in this rig. And then from the barrel swivel to the hook, we have a couple inches of line. That's it. That's the rig. I was not, I was, I was not prepared. Just thought it was gonna be a how-to video, but had to put another bait out there. And yeah, I'm using leftover drum bait for catfish. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this will improve or help improve your catches for winter catfishing. If you liked the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Appreciate the continued support. Hope everybody stays safe and healthy throughout the holidays. Don't be an ass, wear a mask. Anyway, guys. <laughs> Catch y'all later. Peace.